Hello, 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 and welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to the Rack and Scraps channel. Family, I wanted to share with you guys really quickly my new favorite thing. You guys know how I get when I find something I like, okay? So I went to Williams-Sonoma, as a backstory, quick backstory. I went to Williams-Sonoma maybe two, three months ago, and I saw this, and then I went home and did research, and then I kept walking back and forth and looking at it for the next two, three, two months. And then I finally said, you know what, hell with it, I'm going to go ahead and get it. And what it is, is a seven quart multi-cooker, okay? It looks like a crock pot. It is a crock pot, but it's not a crock pot, okay? This little thing here, this little thing here, this thing does all kind of stuff. It will boil, it will fry, it will simmer, it will sear, it will steam, it will do all kind of stuff. It will reheat, it will keep warm, it will do the buffet thing. It does a lot, okay? And I've been putting this thing under the freaking ringer to test it out before I brought it to you guys. Because you guys know, if I ever bring you a product, first of all, this is not sponsored, but I mean, I wouldn't be mad if William Sonoma, Sonoma decided to sponsor me with any of their products. I'd be very happy. But um, this is not sponsored. But you know, when I bring you guys stuff that I like, I bring you things that I like. So if it's something that's sponsored, I'll let you know that. And I'm going to always be very honest about if I like it or not. So I will not be putting on for anybody, any company. Okay. So. I'm gonna insert a video of me using this real quick and then we'll talk in a minute. So this is the all clad seven quart multi cooker. Okay, and so it comes with a steamer setting. You can set the time on that to less, higher, whatever. As you can see it says steam right there, okay? And here it says rice, here it says slow. All right, and steam right there. So if you wanted to steam some vegetables or something, this station here has the rubber bottom on it so it will not scratch up your nice all clayed insert, which does come out, okay? So it has that feature. Next we have the sear feature. And I love this feature because you can pretty much cook on here, okay? It goes all the way up to 450 and you can put it on whichever temperature you want as far as timing goes, okay? So that's that one, and then it has a simmer. And again, you can set it to how long you want it to simmer, and then it even has a, right here, if you see that button, the buffet warmer, buffet warmer button allows it just to stay warm but not keep cooking, and that is great if you are hosting. And then over here on this side, it has a reheat button which is great to have as well. See all my little boiling fingerprints. So that is all the different buttons there. We're gonna be doing the um, sear because we're getting ready to do this ground beef. And I do want it up to about 425 there. And then we're going to press start and it is going to do the preheating as you see there, okay? All right, and it also comes with this really beautiful lid here. And again, this whole thing here comes out and you can sit this on your table if you'd like. If you lift it up, it will read F1 to let you know that it's not there. So there we go. So it'll let me know when it's done preheating to 425. All right, all right, so let's get this spaghetti going. So you guys, first, you know I had to throw in some um, olive oil, garlic infused oil, a little bit of garlic, and now I'm throwing in my veggies. We know we all do uh, spaghetti differently. I try not to go too elaborate because my kids are super picky. But I just wanted you guys to see how well this thing works. So now I'm adding my ground beef and I'm adding some seasoning here. This is the Trader Joe's um, seasoning. I'll leave it down in the link below. I've shared this before with you guys. And this thing is just so pretty. It just looks like glass. I love just looking at it when it shines up. In the Anyhow, as you can see, we have it at 425 and we're adding more seasoning. This is the Italian Chop House. Um, so just some rubs, some nice garlic we're adding. We're adding some, herbs, some herbs and provolence. And I love the lavender that's in that. And then some Italian seasoning now. So 
So we're gonna add the sauce and then I'm gonna set it to a simmer after I add the sauce. And this is what I love about this cooker, this multi-cooker, is that it does it all, you guys. And you can switch in between each one and I love that it does that without trying to cut off. So I did add it to um, <clears throat> over to the rice after the simmer so that we can then cook the noodles. So I added some water into the pot after giving it a good stir. And then I added the, um, the dry pasta noodles on top. And you'll see that in just a moment. So there's the pasta noodles there. You see I have it on the rice setting, which is the boil setting, as you can see here. And we've got some spaghetti, y'all. We've got some spaghetti in like 30 minutes, okay? I mean, <clears throat> one pot, it's all done. That's why I said it's not a slow cooker. It does a little of everything, and it does a little of everything very efficiently, okay? Very efficiently. So this is the spaghetti there, you guys. I was looking, and I was just so happy that it all came out good. All right, you guys. So... As you can see from my quick spaghetti, um, that took me maybe 30 minutes, 30 minutes. Now I will say it takes a minute to heat up, but aside from taking the time to heat up, it takes maybe about uh, 15 minutes to well, 10 to 15 minutes to really get where you want it to if you're gonna be like using it as a skillet. But I absolutely love this thing. This is my new favorite thing. I haven't touched my stove since I bought it, except for yesterday when I made breakfast. But aside from that, Everything's been done right here. I absolutely love it. It keeps my stove clean. It's only one thing I have to clean, and it's non-stick. When I say non-stick, I mean non-stick. Like, you can wipe it out with a paper towel. As you can see, it's coming right off. I don't even really need to use the back. I could. Now, this is one of those products that is like a luxury product, in my opinion. And I say that because of the price. The price. Shall we talk about the price? You're going to pay about $350, $60 Okay, now you can look online and see if you can find it somewhere else cheaper. By all means, sis, if you can find it somewhere else cheaper, please do so. But be careful, don't be deceived. There are some that favor it, but it's not it. Okay, so it has to say multi-purpose, multi-purpose, multi-functional. Okay, make sure it is this one, all right? You saw the box in the beginning of the video, I will insert it again, but make sure it is this one. Don't get one of those little lookalikes and then it does nothing but slow cook or slow cook and steam, okay? If you're gonna spend that type of money, you wanna make sure you get in the bank for your buck, right? Okay, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm getting ready to cook dinner. Got some you onions here. here, some chopped up black garlic, if you guys are not familiar with it. Black garlic, let me zoom in so y'all can see. Y'all, I'm sorry, the lighting is horrible in here. I didn't bring my filming camera down. Um, it's soft, look. It's very soft, like gummy soft, like gummy bear soft, okay? If you've never tried black garlic, look at my short video on black garlic and then go and give it a try. This is it's, it's a great thing, it's a great staple. So I've been touching it so it's not as shiny as it usually is. Um, I've been touching, putting my little fingerprints on it, but this thing shines up like a mirror, you guys, and it looks so good against the granite because it just looks like the granite continues, okay? It's really, really nice. I love how it has measurements here on the inside. That's great. I love how these handles don't get hot. hot. Of course, that does because that's hooked on. So um, this lips out, has a lid. It's just great, you guys. It's just great. So since y'all already here, Let's just go ahead and get this thing started, shall we? I'm just doing a quick little um, kind of like beef stroganoff dish tonight. Just something quick, something I know that the kids will eat. My kids are pretty picky. And so for that reason, um, I wanted to go with something that is simple. And honey understands that, so he don't really trip, you know. I really don't even want to touch this metal to this because I don't want to scratch it up. And okay, so that's what I was going to say. Let me let me stir this a little bit and then we're going to talk. We're going to talk a little bit. All right. I put in some, in case you were wondering what else I put in there. I put in this garlic oil right here. Garlic infused oil, like olive oil with garlic in it. It's so good. I got to get another one. I bought it from Ross. I need another. I'll be going back to get a couple more. Because I know I like it now. Alright. 
in. Let me just get that in there real good. And you can put a timer on how long you want the skillet to be on, or you can completely just let it go until you turn it off, okay? All right, you guys, so let me say this about our multi-cooker here. Um, this is something where, let's say you do take it to a party, okay? You take it to a party like this, because it has a lid and it can come out and you can take it. I personally would not ever take it to a party because you know how when you go to places and sometimes you don't get your Tupperware back, I doubt that you'll be getting that back depending on the type of people that's gonna be at the party. People do not return things properly. And if they do, they wash them with things that scrape them up and all that. This is just something um, I would just implore you with this little situation here to be very, very careful with it as far as who you allow to use it. Some people get happy with um, with hard utensils and metal utensils and wanna clean it with abrasion things and you know, like abrasive pads and all that. It doesn't need that. I promise you, you could take a paper towel and literally wipe it out with no water. You don't even, I mean, you don't clean it with water, but you don't need anything but some, a sponge and a little bit of Dawn. That's it. You don't need extra stuff tearing up the, um, what do you call that? Enamel of it, if that's what it's even called, or the, the top coat of it. This thing will last you years if you care for it properly and keep people who don't respect the quality of it away from it, okay? And that goes for anyone who didn't pay for it. That's all I'm saying. Because me personally, I already know um, I will be pulling it out different, different uh, during different events, but there are only certain people that I'm gonna want touching it. And that's just because I know those people understand the value and they understand, uh, you know, the, how I like my things cared for, all right? And the same thing goes for my um, copper cookware set. If you haven't seen my copper cookware set, video review, check it out. I'll link down below, okay? But um, I'm big on quality. I want good quality, but I don't want to pay all the coins for the good quality. Um, I will if I have to, if it's something I really, really want. But if not, I will try and do what I can do. But if I do go ahead and purchase something that I really want that it's going to cost me some money, uh, I'm a little funny about who uses it because I've learned throughout time that people will tear up your things and will act like it's no big deal, act like you're overreacting, act like they don't have to replace it, act like they're not gonna even offer, act like they didn't even do it, and go home, okay? And we're not doing that. So anyhow, let's see our clock. Okay. Fed ground beef, you guys, if you want some like supple soft ground beef, this is what you go with, all right? So let's break that up. Get it all broken down. All right, and so let me show you the knobs. Some of the stuff on the knobs. I'm sure you've seen it already, but we're gonna go over it again. So we've got the steam button here, the sear, the simmer, the slow cook, and the rice. So the rice, you can boil things, okay? I made chicken and dumplings in it. Did I make it? No, I didn't make it in here. I made some other stuff that I boiled, but I have made rice in here and, it, and it's amazing. It makes the rice so perfectly, okay? The steam button, you can use that to steam vegetables and things like that, all right? And being that it's one of these type of things, if you want to, I don't know what else you can steam. I've never really gotten into steaming aside from vegetables, but I'm sure there's meat that you can maybe slow steam. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. The sear button here, that's what I have on right now cooking this ground beef. It goes up to 450 degrees. Multi cooker. So you guys, I added in the sauce and mixed it up as you can see. Turned it all nice and brown, like a stroganoff almost, you know? So we've got that in there. We're gonna add some water, add our noodles. And um, what I did is I switched it from sear to simmer while I added the sauce. And now that I'm done, and I allowed that to simmer for a good 10 minutes, now I'm gonna switch it over. I'm gonna switch it over to rice so that it will boil so that I can cook the noodles, okay? All right, well, cup number three of water that I've added. And I'm just I'm not gonna disturb it too much because I kind of want the water to kind of sit on top. So when I place the noodles in, so I'm gonna put those in there. All right. And we just 
just gonna submerge those. I might add one more cup. I'll look and check on it as time goes on and add as I need to. And I'm guesstimating here, okay? And so I did that first before turning the knob because once you turn the knob to the right setting, it kind of setting, it kind of goes quickly. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it to the right setting and cover it because it will start boiling really fast. All right, and then we'll come back and check. One more. All right, you guys, so that's it. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm about to start cleaning. Uh, dinner is now over. I'm still kind of jumping on mine, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you guys are having a good day. I pray that you guys are safe and healthy and all that jazz. Remember to please subscribe, comment, rate, hit the notification, all that jazz. Remember to stay wrapped in scraps, meaning repurpose, recycle, and use all parts of your life, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay, remember to stay loving you because you can't love anyone else if you don't love you. Stay loving God because he is love. Stay loving life because you're still living. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.